Well, this morning we were rather cold temperatures, overshaded a little bit, getting down to those low 30s. Seeing about 32 degrees was our low here in Baton Rouge, and seeing up areas below freezing near the I-55 corridor and more east, but where it's not going to be as cold as we go through tonight. Look at the main picture across the southern in southeastern U.S. We have high pressure over to the east, over central Florida, keeping some some uh, clear skies, some colder temperatures that way, and some cloud cover over to the west near Texas, and seeing some clouds over the Gulf with a southerly motion coming up into the Gulf Coast. That's going to be bringing some warmer temperatures and some more moisture with it as we go into the next few days. So tonight we won't be as cold as we were last night, but we will be in those mid uh, to low 50s across the region. Going to be seeing that low temperatures really bottom out just after midnight before we begin to start to see that warmer trend as we go into the day. Going to be seeing those upper 50s by the time we get to about a daybreak and be a lot warmer as we go into the afternoon of tomorrow. So look at the future track. We do have plenty of cloud cover to go uh, across the area as we go into tomorrow and then some showers will be possible as we begin into the afternoon to the evening hours. Just a few scattered showers, nothing really heavy or widespread. Just a few light showers coming through the day ahead of a weak cold front that's going to be moving through as we go into late Monday and into early Tuesday. So showers really kind of last until about the evening and early morning hours. Talk about 3, 4 a.m. before they begin to clear out. And that frontal system, that front is going to stall just north of our area and then begin to push back to the north as a warm front, allowing for some more warm and moist air to return to the Gulf Coast ahead of our next system. So tomorrow Tomorrow is going to be a warm day. We're going to be seeing temperatures getting into those low 70s. Best chance of rain is really going to be coming after the afternoon into the evening and night hours. And it's going to be a little bit breezy. We're going to be seeing winds from the south around 10 to 15 miles per hour. So look at the GFS ahead of our next cold front that's going to be moving through as we go into Wednesday. Could be seeing some showers and some storms ahead of that main line Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening before that main line comes through, possibly into Wednesday night and into early Thursday morning. And with the system, we are tracking the possibility for some severe weather as it, this cold front moves through Wednesday night and early Thursday morning. The SBC is noting a 50% probability of some severe weather over Louisiana, over our area as well into Mississippi. That equates to about a slight risk for severe weather as we go into Wednesday and into early Tuesday morning. So plenty to hash out here with the forecast of the exact timing, but right now it's looking about Wednesday into early Thursday morning. No need to worry right now. Just make sure you do have a plan in place and make sure we do stay weather aware as you head into Wednesday. Now, rainfall totals are pretty manageable, seeing about a quarter inch to maybe three quarters of an inch as it moves through. And this includes the rain tomorrow and the cold front on Wednesday. So going to tomorrow morning for the bus stop, it's looking cool and cloudy for the start. We're seeing about 57 degrees and warming up quite nicely into those low 70s and maybe a slight chance for a, a passing shower or two heading back home. So you may want to grab a jacket just in case you get a sprinkle or two in the afternoon. Now look at your 70 forecast. We're seeing those upper 70s as we hit midweek by Tuesday and into Wednesday. Showers and storms moving in on, on Wednesday with a cold front. Then slightly cooler but near average Thursday, Friday for our next chance of rain comes as we go into next weekend into those mid 60s.